Hello and welcome to Radio Waves. I'm your host, Chris Poliquin, and this is a production of Red Apples Media. We're broadcasting out of Real Country, 790 AM at Leesburg, Florida. And if you're watching us on television, you're doing so on Lake Sumter TV, Comcast Channel 13, Bright House 498, and CenturyLink Prism Channel 83. So today we're going to be discussing one of our technical schools, or I think the technical school for Lake County, Lake Tech College. Um, So I invited the executive director, Dr. Diane Culpepper, and we also have the EMS program coordinator, Ms. Lane Hendrickson. Ladies, thank you so much for coming onto the show today. Thank you for having us. I'm glad to have you Mm -hmm. because for me i get the opportunity to do a show to bring awareness to our local community on a lot of things that people i think take for granted they know that these programs or foundations and and you know organizations are there and yet don't really know the important impact that they have on our local community so i'd like to get into a little bit of that but before we do Diane, can you tell us a little bit about yourself and what made you decide to come to Lake Technical College? I'd be happy to. So I've been at Lake Technical College for about 10 years, since 2010. I live in Seminole County, but when I heard about the opening at Lake Technical College and began thinking about interviewing, I found out um, a pretty cool story that made the decision for me. So as I was interviewing, someone told me that there had been an accident in front of the school a few years before and at that accident the first responders the firefighters the paramedics the emts everyone who showed up to help this person who had been in this car accident were all lake technical college graduates then the helicopter came to pick up that person take them to the hospital and the people on the helicopter were lake tech graduates the the medics on the copter And then when they got to the hospital, the nurses were Lake Tech graduates. So it really impressed upon me the impact that Lake Tech makes in the community, that we are the educational provider for Lake County. And so many people go through our school, go through our programs, and then become productive, active, important citizens in our community. So it was exciting for me. And so when I got offered the position, I said, absolutely, I'm, I'm here. Yeah, and when you told me that off air, I, I was I was stunned mm. that I, mean, I know this, and I think most people know mm. that. Uh, like, again, as we were speaking about earlier, a lot of the people who leave to go to school come back home. Mm-hmm. They they generally reside in the communities that they grew up in. Yes, and for an institution like Lake Tech College, that's we're talking about trade skills of all levels aren't we we are we absolutely These are, are people we work with every single day so Lane, tell me a little bit about yourself just so the audience have an idea of what you do for lake tech college okay well i oversee the emt and the paramedic program i am the ems program coordinator um, i actually graduated from lake tech with my emt and my paramedic so i am an alumni and it's, it's really neat to be able to come back and be a part of the program. I was part-time for many, many years. And then in 2010, I became full-time with Lake Tech. Okay. Now, again, <laughs> here, here, we yes, are, here we are, right? Mm-hmm. I, from doing a little bit of research, it seems like a lot of your instructors are uh, previously Lake Tech graduates as well, correct? That's absolutely correct. So... Uh, we require people who teach at Lake Tech to have at least six years of industry experience. So like Lane, she came to Lake Tech, she got her certifications, and then she went out and she worked as a paramedic for many, many years. But sometimes our folks really want to give back, teach the next generation of people that are coming up in their profession. And so they want to come back, they want to be an instructor, and it's perfect that they're um, a Lake Tech grad because then they know they love Lake Tech already and then they can they have such a passion for their industry the profession right yeah you tend to get a, a true appreciation yes. Yes. for if you're selling the product correct that you believe in mm-hmm. you're going to sell it yes right I mean it's so I think that speaks volumes and, I really, and really do in paramedic right now as in many of our programs like law enforcement and firefighting those part-time instructors that we have and we have hundreds of them are all currently working in their field so they're active 
paramedics oh. or active firefighters or active law enforcement. So the real world experience they bring to our students is something you don't get anywhere else. And I think that's one of the best um, components of what we do at Lake Tech. Yeah, and I think it speaks, again, mm -hmm. volumes. Yes. It really does. Now, I would like to get into some of the programs that you offer. Okay. But before we do, where are you located? You don't just have one facility, do you? No. Our main campus, though, is in Eustis on Kurt Street. So that campus has been there since 1968. And then our public safety campus is in Tavares. And that's where we do the law enforcement and firefighting correction officer and those types of things. And then we have um, a partnership with Lake Sumter State College, and they allow us to offer programs in their building down in Claremont. So we're teaching nursing, CNA. We're starting a new paramedic program down there. And okay. then we have a bunch of off-site locations that we teach GED and ESOL classes, at English for Speakers of Other Languages, all across the county. We know sometimes those folks have a hard time getting all the way up to the Eustis campus. If they sure. don't speak English well, or perhaps they have yet not earned their GED, their credential, you know, they, they may not have a good job. They may be unemployed, and they need to get those skills, academic skills, so they can get a job. But we take that education to them. So we are as far away as Four Corners down in the Kagan's Crossing Library and Cooper oh, wow. Library and, mm -hmm. and all over the place. You know how big Lake County is. Oh, it is. Yes. <laughs> I do. Yes. I do. I'll do well. Wow. So... <clears throat> yeah that's that's crazy yes that's crazy it is if if someone wanted to get more information on lake tech uh lake technical college or lake tech yes uh where can they get in inf that information because just trying to see where they may be able to attend the class you know for their own planning purposes could be probably daunting without it right in your face yes well laketech.org is our website and that probably has the best and the, the most complete amount of information but they're certainly welcome to come into the main campus and we have all kinds of brochures and flyers and publications they can pick up and we have career advisors they can talk to and and if they stop in at, at the public safety campus we have people there they can talk to um, and our off-site locations, it would be hit or miss because sometimes our teachers are there and sometimes they're not. So sure. we'd recommend they come to the main campus or go to laketech.org for okay. sure. Okay. So, yeah, with, with all of these campuses and just the amount of time that they've been educating, mm -hmm. uh, I'm, I'm going to say students for mm -hmm. now because that's another question I have for you. Okay. We're, t we're talking, what is it, 52 years, 52 years. That's it, absolutely correct. That's an integral part of mm -hmm. a community, <laughs> bar none. I right? agree. Any institution that's been mm -hmm. around that long is a part. It's embedded in the yes. community. Yes. Who can go to Lake Tech? Is it – I think there's some misconceptions out there that it's high school, Votech. And, and that's not really the case, is no. it? The majority of our students are adults, so probably the average age of our students. So the majority? The majority. We only have about 50 high school students of our 2,800 that we wow. um, serve each year. So we do want to encourage more high school students to, to dual enroll. Um, they can do that when they're in high school and spend part of the day with us in most of our programs. Okay, so you do um, have a dual enrollment program. Yeah, we program. do. Mm -hmm. Is that with all high schools in, in the county yes. or just a select? Oh, is it? Yes. Okay. If they're, okay. Now, some of the, the high schools that are further south, the students may have a more difficult time getting Ooh, to the campus. Right. But we are in the process of furbishing a school bus, and we're going to deck it out in the Lake Tech colors of red and black. And we are going to next year pick up some students from um, some of the high schools and bring them over. So... We've been working on that. Our, our transportation department's been... Is that uh, right? Mm-hmm. So that, that'll that be fun. You'll see the Lake Tech Mobile going around. The, Lake, up some. <laughs> the Lake Tech Mobile. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> um, but we have students of all ages. So those high school students that might be 17 or 18 years old, all the way up to um, career changers, people who come back um, in their 40s or 50s because they want to change careers and do something different. Uh, we just had a gentleman the other day that graduated two years ago from our culinary program as a retiree, but now he brought his food truck that he just purchased to show the other students and how excited he was. You know, that's been his dream Is that right? to have a food truck and carry on and with that around town. So uh, all ages. We had a, 
a woman for many years in our ESOL program that was 90 years old. So what? everybody called her grandma. I remember so, that. Um, yep, <clears throat> exactly. So all ages come to Lake Tech. Probably the average age is 25, 26, and, uh, but on up. We are working on encouraging our high school graduates to choose Lake Tech first. Because we know if you choose us first, you'll get a skill. Career in a year is our tagline. So you can get that okay. skill. And then you want to continue on for additional education. You can do that easily. Take that skill. Work your way through college. Uh, and I think that's the key right mm -hmm. there. You're giving, you're giving students a tool yes. to work their way through college. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I have a son, college. Mm -hmm. And I understand student loans yes. and grants and scholarships and all of that. And, you know, a good dad plug. Yeah. I, he's debt free mm -hmm. as it stands right now. But he's he's doing his part yes. working his way through mm -hmm. college. And I, I, I don't think people grasp, young people mm -hmm. grasp the how serious tens of thousands of yes. dollars of debt you can be in your 30s or 40s before you pay off that loan that's right being able to work your way through college mm -hmm. for some people you know maybe not for everybody but that to me is a big deal yes. it really really is and something else that helps them is that almost every one of our programs we have articulated with lake sumter state college so if they want to go there when they finish with us they can receive about 24 to 27 credits and I think there's more in paramedic that they receive, mm -hmm. um, but 24 to 27 credits towards their AS degree. And Lake Sumter State College has special scholarships for Lake Technical College graduates to go right into their program to continue on. So how do you beat that? You don't. Right. And to me, it's, mm -hmm. it's, it's an example of a community education system yes. pulling together for the greater good of its community. Exactly. But I'm just... You know, I'm not trying to be a spokesman yes. by no means. Well, we like that. We like Go so. ahead, be our spokesman. <laughs> so. I feel like Lake Tech really sets the roots for individuals. You know, it really gives them a good foundation to get started in whatever pathway they choose to take as they grow into that career. Right, and I think that's a, and I think that's very accurate. Mm -hmm. I really do. I really, really do. Well, ladies, we need to take a quick break. Okay. And, but when we return, we're going to get into uh, a little more in depth, if it's okay, about mm -hmm. some of the programs that you offer and more specifically your program, okay. if that's all right. Yeah. All right. We'll be back in a few moments. Hello and welcome back to Radio Waves. Again, I'm your host, Chris Poliquin, and this is a production of Red Apples Media. Today we're speaking with Dr. Diane Culpepper and <laughs> Lane Hendrickson about Lake Tech Co Lake Technical College. Mm -hmm. I keep trying to take shortcuts. <laughs> I call it Lake Tech because that's, that's right. what everybody knows. That's, and right. then, that's fine. But it's Lake Technical mm -hmm. College. But um, we're, we're really getting into the weeds, I think, on the importance that Lake Tech has in our community mm -hmm. and how our citizens can benefit from it. Mm -hmm. Even if they leave, it sounds like it's, it's just a solid college with solid programs. And before the break, you kind of hinted to a new paramedic program. Yes. Lane, can you tell us a little bit about that and uh, anything else you'd like to add? Okay. Well, let me start off with just talking about how do you get to be a paramedic? Um, okay. The state of Florida says that you need to be a state licensed EMT. So we have EMT program. It's a 300-hour okay. program. It's a part-time evening. And we find that the evening program works best because we do see a lot of individuals coming in to the EMT program as that second career. Um, so and they work during the day. The nighttime program sure. fits their needs. And then our paramedic program is an advanced program. We teach advanced life-saving skills. It's an 1,100-hour program. And uh, usually the individuals that we see in this program are working in the field as EMTs. Oh, is that, um, so, so they're, they're just, already got gotcha. you. Okay. Right, they're um, just expanding their career. Mm -hmm. But the new program that we have down in our Claremont campus, uh, we actually um, started this as a need um, 
a need we recognized through the Claremont Fire Department. They approached us and inquired about the possibility of bringing our program down to the Claremont area. Um, so we are, we're starting it um, the 6th of May. It's a full class. We're very excited about it. Uh, we are holding it on the uh, Lake Sumter uh, campus down okay. in the Claremont area through our, our partnership. And, um, you know, it's going to be um, a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday type of class. Our instructors are there. We have labs and everything that they would need that they would receive in the program on the uses campus will be available to them in the Claremont campus. Okay, so <clears throat> you slipped in the word full. Mm -hmm. It is <laughs> and, a full class. And, and, it's, and it's new. Yes. I can only assume that this is going to be a program that you offer or a class that's going to be offered in the future or are you is it still too early for you guys to tell? So like if one of our audience uh, heard this information and was like, oh, I want to do that, is it already too late for them or do well, they have an opportunity down the road? Down the road, absolutely. Okay. Our goal is to continue offering an annual program in, on the Claremont campus. Um, another goal that we have is to also offer an EMT program on that same campus. So we are looking so forward to the growth that, that we have in front of us. Okay. Now, something else I want, I want to talk, talk about mm -hmm. the, the growth of Lake Tech mm -hmm. as well. But again, we're growing as Lake County. Mm. Businesses, cities are growing. Claremont is oh. is blowing up. Yes. Well, the bigger city gets, the more people live there. The more people live there, the mm -hmm. more civil services and public safety mm -hmm. we need. So these types of programs, we, we kind of need to fill our <laughs> mm -hmm. our billets. You know, right. the more people, the more fire department needed. The more fire departments or stations, I should say, so mm -hmm. on and so forth, the more, you know, firemen you need. Mm -hmm. Or we, EMTs or doctors or nurses or, you know, fill right. in the blanks. And we're so happy that we were able to work with Claremont Fire to get this program in the Claremont area. But we have several other agencies that will be sending their employees to this, to this program. So oh, okay. I, so I, you've got... Well, again, agencies, kind of like using the defin the, the <laughs> yeah. word in its own definition. But <laughs> so you have outside EMS people agencies. utilizing mm -hmm. Lake Tech to, I guess, train their own people or to improve on their skill set. Right. Okay. Wow. Right. Yes. All right. So I think that's one of our our key goals for all of Lake Tech is that we're we're serving business and industry in our community. So whatever they need, we want to provide because then we know our students graduate and they'll be able to get a job. I think it was exciting during the recession when people weren't getting jobs. Oh, our students were get, still getting jobs. Mm -hmm. None of what we offer can be outsourced. So right. Right. our students continue to get jobs and now we can hardly keep them in the classes mm -hmm. before they are snatched up by employers. So no, okay. Yeah, I've got, we just don't have enough time. Mm -hmm. Now, do you guys have a, a placement program or, or P or, businesses, companies, and organizations reaching out to you uh, well, to, I for can, hiring, I mean. Right. <laughs> for our program, um, even in, in the EMT program, we let our students know that this is a 300-hour interview because our part-time instructors are full-time in the field working as par paramedics, working as firefighters. So they get to see these students. They know the individuals who hire or they may themselves sit on an interview board. So the right. opportunities for these students um, to really you know, present themselves well, I mean, it is there. And uh, we see that a number of the students do get hired just by that means. Mm -hmm. And it makes sense. Mm -hmm. it, it really does. I mean, in the business world, you call that networking. Right, right. So but in this scenario, you're being trained by the people that you're networking exactly. with. It's kind of win-win. Mm -hmm. All of our programs have business uh, advisory committees. So we have business and industry that, that uh, work with our programs, each one of them, to make sure we're teaching the industry uh, standard and make sure we're up to date on everything. And, you know, they're, they're there to give us advice. So we follow what they're telling us. And they then are very interested in hiring our graduates so they develop the relationships with the instructors they learn and meet the teachers or the students just like you said and um, 
we, we have no problem with placement. We also have a career um, uh, services office where we you know work with our students and okay. teach them how to you know, fill out job applications and make their resumes and practice interviewing and those sorts of things. Really? But, yeah. So that's a lot of fun, too. Because, again, we're, we're talking about the high-ticket item classes, programs. Mm -hmm. That's not all you uh, you provide. You have a lot of different programs. And we've still got a couple of minutes. Can, can you just give us a quick rundown on some of the types of programs and special classes? Because I was on the website and saw a couple that was like, oh, oh I can do that. It's not, a, it's not a career change, per se. It's just a, an additional short course that short course with some skill uh, development that you might want to go yeah. into so anything from we offer forklift training that's a one-day class we have private security guard concealed carry classes floral design those kinds of things that are short and quick but allow people to come in and get some mm -hmm. skills and and do something a little different uh, we have a variety of our career training programs that are in fields like uh, air conditioning and our transportation area, um, auto service and diesel mechanics. And then we have a culinary program and cosmetology and a wide variety of healthcare programs because, you know, there's a lot of healthcare in this area. Yeah, I, I noticed that uh, as yes, well. A exactly. lot of health so we, But again, that's part of the partnership with, with Lake Sumter yep. State College, too. They're, that's a growing program. Oh, there. yes. And we are partnered. So someone mm -hmm. could start with their CNA and then get their LPN with us and then move on, bridge over to an RN program at Lake Sumter State and keep on going in their career. So we're, we're there to either, as you said, be their foundation or be the area to change careers. That's, that's amazing. It really is. And again... Lake Tech, everybody is aware of, I'm sure, who well, live I hope here. so. <laughs> but just how much you mm -hmm. guys do, I, I wanted to be able to get that information out because I, I bounce around the Internet mm -hmm. often, mm -hmm. and I've been to the website multiple mm -hmm. times um, for myself and looking for my son and some friends of my family's you know, children as well, and some of my friends, mm -hmm. to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. um, and it, it, it's surprising to me that, I don't want to stereotype Votech because it's so much more than that. Yes. And I want to dismiss if there are any, you know, members of our audience right now thinking, oh, yeah, that's our Votech school. You guys are much more than that. Well, we're preparing so. the skilled workforce. That's right. what we're doing. And right. they, there is such a need and the demand is there. So if you want a job, come to Lake Tech. You'll be able to get trained and get a job. So, And if someone wanted to do that, again, where can they get that information? LakeTech.org. LakeTech.org. That's right. And stop in, and we'd love to give anybody a tour. We talk to people, you know, anything that anyone would like to do. We're, we're happy to show off what we do, always. Right. Sounds like mm -hmm. it. Sounds like it. Well, ladies... That's about all the time we have for today. Thank you so much, because I know you both are very busy. Thank you. Thank you for taking the time out and joining us and sharing this. Well, thanks for having us. All right. And that wraps it up for Radio Waves. I've been your host, Chris Poliquin. We'll see you next time.